Yeah, it's Dr. Finn here, Market Part 2, to recharge enough for refrigerator. And here's my refrigerator that I'll be working on today. And as you can see, this is your compressor. Right here, I had placed the access valve on previously. And I believe because of this curve area, I should have put it more on the vertical area where the pipe is more straight here but because of this curve I think refrigerant actually has also leaked out here as of the evaporator being punctured so this will has, would have contributed I believe largely in the leaking and the escaping of the refrigerant I've connected a hose here I'm gonna plug this I'm going to plug in my refrigerator and I'm just to let you see what will happen. Right now my gauge is, my compound gauge, which is on the, the low side gauge, it's at zero. And if you look very carefully, you're going to see 30 INHG. That means 30 inches of mercury. That's below atmospheric pressure, which I'll explain in further videos. But for now, you're going, I'm going to turn this on get the compressor pump in and I already hook up this to my access valve and you're gonna see what pressures are in this system so hold on for that okay so I go I plug her in the source we're gonna go all the way around we're gonna open our cabinet section there mm -hmm. and we're gonna make sure that she's on in this position she's off anyway like after one anyway there that's on and we'll go back around I'm gonna hit the switch and right away she's on if you look closely sorry didn't open this little pin this little set screw right here. I'm gonna backseat it so that you guys and as I, as I backseat it, look at the needle as it goes down into a vacuum. It's, if it's near 30 inches of mercury, which means the system is starving for refrigerant. So it actually, it's actually in a vacuum right now. It's showing about 20 inches of mercury. That's a, which is a negative pressure. So it's in a vacuum. It's mean it's starving for refrigerant. I can feel my compressor. It's on. I don't know if you can hear that. Slight humming. So it concludes that we're low on refrigerant. It should be about 10 psi is there about. So I shut down my compressor, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to join, rejoin this line with a compression fitting and you're going to see what that is. So I'm going to, before I go, I'm going to show you how you release your electrical, this is the electrical box, this covers the, all the electrical components and all you do, pry it like this. And you lift it back and it exposes all the electrical components which are one your overload protector which is this and your common your voltage comes into this from your thermostat this wire brings your signal from your thermostat it sends it here this goes through the common pin for those of you who would have watched my compressor how to test the compressor video you will know what I'm talking about look it up flow through, through this component which is a thermal protector overload which means if the compressor gets too hot it will open it will ex it will open the circuit not breaking the electrical flow shutting down the compressor protecting it from overheating and burning of the windings and right below here I'm gonna try to get this on I'm 
show you what it really really looks like uh, whoa. Bear with me a minute. I'm gonna take, um, finish removing the electrical components. I will show you later what it really looks like. So stay tuned for part three as I'm about to set up and get going with our process. So look out for poetry.